All right, guys, Mr. Short Hitter here. You don't look like a short hitter to me. I got a special treat for you today for this review Wednesday. We're going top notch. We've got a clear golf ball. This is their Tour Black Ball. So a lot of you guys may have heard of clear. I believe this ball is supposed to compete directly with the Pro V1. Okay guys, so it looks like that pins back a little bit. We've got 156 into a little bit of wind and the air is very cold right now. I'm gonna play this about 15 yards longer and we'll hit a five hybrid. So I did like the feel of that first tee shot. Wow, that came off really good. think that one's going to be long. So guys, there's obviously a possibility that I caught a flyer there. Like I said, it's 155, it was a little uphill. Any wind is hurting and it is extremely cold out here right now. So, and this ball completely flew, actually flew right here, say about 13 yards. So I'm gonna say this ball flew about 168 in the cold. You know, you never know when you're playing this time of season, you know, that's kind of straight downhill. I'm expecting it to roll and it didn't. So one thing we can be certain of, when my qualifier rolls around, I better hit better pitch shots than this. Maybe I need to be a little more aggressive on the putts today because it is seemingly not going to roll out much. Right to left breaker. My steel wasn't very aggressive. All right, the bad bogey, we can't afford those. Okay guys, so one hole assessment of the clear golf ball, not a mark on the cover, that's good. I like the feel of this golf ball so far. Seems to be pretty responsive. I haven't really tried to work it or do anything like that with it. Let's try to hit a draw off this tee box and see how that works out. This hole has I got out of bounds, well, hazard on the left. So we'll play it over the right bunker. It's kind of clear over there. And we'll just try to hook it back. You guys that have watched the channel know I don't really try to work the ball in the course too much. Try to do that more often. All right, guys, so we've got 153. Last hole we had 155 uphill hit five wood or five hybrid and just kind of smoked it. Wind is hurting a little bit. This is probably about as far down as I've been in this type of weather. So this time the green is kind of open on the left. There is hazard on the left. So this time I'm going to play it towards the left side of the green and see if we can fade it towards the pin. hit behind that one was fading towards the pin so we'll see where it is this is kind of the last day over the next couple of weeks i'll be able to get out on the course because it's supposed to get down into the 30s again so i wanted to really get out with this golf ball and for a shot that was hit so poorly this really isn't a bad result i'll take the tour green out also and i'll probably play this ball again when the weather's a little bit nicer to give it a fair assessment, but I was really anxious. I know a lot of people are interested in this golf ball. Thought that moved left. My premium balls, I like a little firmer. You know, that urethane cover is always going to feel, to me, a little softer than a sirloin cover or sirloin cover. Or... But the ball does not feel bad at all. Just 
just a slight firmness to it. But again, I kind of like my premium balls a little bit firm. This is pretty much perfect. All right, guys, so tricky little hole here. We're fighting darkness, but I'm hoping to get a couple more holes in. But this hole is 330, water right, hazard on the left. So I'm just going to go with the high wood. If we can get this out there in these conditions, cold, wet conditions, 180, give ourselves a 150-yard shot in. I'll be happy with that. Unless we get a little roll. So I'll take it a little left of that 150-yard stake. A little fade on it. We didn't hit it great. So it's probably going to end up short of that. But this hole, the main thing is keeping it in play. So guys, we got a decent lie here in the fairway. We got 163, it's a rock getting in the middle of the fairway. Okay, 163, pretty good five hybrid in these conditions. Have to hit it really good to get there. So we'll try to turn this one over and draw this one too. Ball seems to be pretty responsive to what we're trying to do here. I think this is the firmer of the two balls, which should be a little lower spin. Kind of stayed on the line, maybe moved left a little bit, but should be a pretty good shot. So the ball just didn't quite turn in enough. And I'll tell you, I don't know if this is the ball mark or not, but I'll tell you on this hole, you told me I could hit two shots and be right here. I'll take that every time. 25 feet or so from the hole. Kind of a tricky green, but again, the tee shot, there's a premium on the tee shot. So if we can get it right around this collar, that's not a bad shot. Take the hybrid because I don't really like the line. We can just bump it over this rough. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> thought I had one, guys. I don't know what these like they're building townhouses over here. 140, cold air. I think we'll go seven iron. So, guys, I've been talking about doing stats in one of the videos, and I talked about doing some basic stat tracking for this season and my quest to get back to a zero under one handicap. So, if you want me to use an app that gets some more precise stats, strokes gained, and that sort of stuff, leave it in the comment section, or if you just want me to do the basic stats. I want to help you guys. Don't know if I could hit a cut with the seven iron that far. I think working the ball a little bit more this year will get me playing a little better also. Although that wasn't a good one. I think that's left of the green. All right, guys, so the ball hit just on the left edge of the green over here. Go uphill a little and move to the right. There's a ridge there, so we just need to get enough speed to get up this hill. Oh, <laughs> oh, hole got in the way. Looked like that thing was still moving. All right, guys, so let's take a look at the numbers from 50 yards, these balls had almost identical performance, launch within 0.1 of a degree. Tor Black had almost 200 RPM more spin from 50 yards. The descent, peak height, both matched up exactly the same. With the ball speed, with the seven iron was one mile per hour more. With the clear Tor Black, launch again within 0.1 degree. The descent, peak height the same. Carry three more yards with the Tor Black then the Pro V1 and the total two more yards. With the driver, the Tour Black had two mile per hour more ball speed, launched about a degree lower, spin within 100 RPM, the descent one degree less deep, peak height one yard lower, carry three yards longer, and total three yards longer than the Pro V1. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Be on the lookout for Friday's golf vlog. On Sunday, I'll have another subscriber Sunday. Wednesday reviews are back and I have a really special golf vlog coming on Monday.
A lot of content on the way, and in the meantime, to check out my favorite and expensive golf ball, click the video to my right, and if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, Mr. Shore Hitter, out.